is Roger, thanks for dropping by. The um, unexpected unboxing. Now this is different today, I'm doing it in the kitchen simply because in the kitchen at the moment it's cool and in the grow room it's not. And I don't want to be turning all the kit off in the grow room, desperately trying to keep the humidity up. So uh, this um, box is as a direct result of Tom, it's all his fault on the grounds that um, when I got the uh, plants back from Burnham's we had a zygo and I happened to mention at the time that a zygo I really liked was um, Louisendorf and if I ever saw that again I would probably get it and Tom promptly contacted me via email and said here is one so I sort of had a look and thought yeah we could do that um, so I went for it, and uh, in here it is. But as you know, <laughs> I never like buying one plant and paying postage direct for that plant when I can put several in together and get a discount. So that's what we did. So in here is more than one plant. Now this is not going to work very well because I've got no height with the tabletop um, tripod. I can't get up any higher than that. Um, but we can have, once I've got them out of the box, we can get the box and the rubbish out of the way and have a look at the plants. How strange. It's alright, I've just seen something that um, I certainly didn't order. It looks like we've got some treats in here. I'm just getting the loose paper out of the way so that I can see what I'm doing. Right, now, we'll start here. What we've got here is pots. I hope those are not in lieu of something I actually ordered. <laughs> if that's a gift, gratefully received. These are good quality pots. Not totally transparent, slightly opaque, with um, good... Uh, drainage and a nice air cone. So pots. Right, now we've got plants. Now I for the life of me can't remember what the hell I ordered. So we'll have to look at these um, <laughs> we'll have to look at the tags won't we? Um, so what I'm gonna do is get the canes out. Those are put in to stop the plants waggling around. This one's got a sheath, so it might actually come into bloom soon. So we'll just get the plants out there. And then we'll worry about uh, looking at them in the bits. Plant number two. remember ordering that. <laughs> well obviously I did. Well I presume I did. Unless I've been given something. Yes I did. Sorry it's all coming back to me now. It's, uh, it's the name that didn't ring the bell. Right so that'll be the Zyko. Right so let's get box and rubbish out of the way. So let's see what we're doing. Right, well as the zygo was the expected one, and I've already mentioned that, we'll do that one first and we'll do the, um, the others that you uh, don't know about afterwards. So uh, the one thing I haven't seen, which is unusual, is an invoice. Ah, there we go. That's the other after. <laughs> In case I've forgotten the name. <laughs> yeah, hey. Right, there we go. Right, so now we start chopping and getting rid of my uh, favourite substance, sellotape. Not. Unfortunately, it's probably the simplest thing to use for these purposes. Trying to substitute for something else would probably be a bit daft. Now, the first thing I'm um, thinking of here 
is we've got a zygo in bark. Now, where this has come from, the plants would be bought in. They're not a nursery as such, although they may well be um, not necessarily propagating their own plants nowadays, but possibly keeping some long enough to be able to split up into smaller plants. That I don't know. Their main purpose is to get the plants in and sell them on. But this is in bark. And it could be that the bark has been put over the top of something else. We will find out later. I'm not, certainly not going to try and take it out of the pot here on the kitchen counter. It will make too much mess. But um, as a plant, not in bloom, right? But what we've got is a new growth pushing on here. Pushing out good new roots and still some new roots coming so that hasn't finished growing hang on with me lens I might not be filming this so we've got a new growth there with roots coming out and some more to come we have another little new growth there also with roots and we have a new growth here with roots some leaves have been chopped that's probably because they were a bit manky and they make plant look untidy this bulb here is plump these older bulbs are not. So I would suggest this plant had a period where it didn't do so good and it's picked up since. Produced a bulb here that isn't still maturing that bulb and this one that's nice and plump which has one of the new growths coming off. So that's quite a healthy looking plant. Um, I'll say that with reservations because we haven't looked in the pot yet. We will do that. So that's the zygo. And I probably didn't say it, but that is Luisendorf. It's one I had once, and that um, was on the list of those that didn't last. Those that uh, have ceased to be. Obviously they weren't nailed to the perch, were they? So, uh, there we go. That's plant number one. That now means that uh, once that gets to the grow room, there are now three zygopetalums in the grow room. Could I be jumping the gun a bit here? And this is the wet one. As I say, there was something wet inside there. Uh, this is obviously it, because it's, uh, it's got weight to it, and it probably wouldn't have if it wasn't wet. Right. So I've got to go careful here, because I've got a new growth down at um, cellar tape level. <laughs> right. Let's get this away. Now this is in a very flimsy pot, so the chances are this is a relatively recent import. Which probably means it's in moss, yes it is, which means it's coming out. Um, but what we've got here is a Gerechia. Um, I think that's the new name for Prostetias. But um, this is Black Comet. Black Comet. Now, I had a chat with Arthur at Burnham's about this because in their um, private area they had some of these in bloom. And I, I, I asked and as soon as I opened my mouth Arthur said there's only two, you can't have them. He said they're basically from a lot that we got quite a while ago and they are the two that didn't sell and Sarah decided that we'd take them into the mother plant section and um, grow them on and possibly split them up later. Um, so I couldn't have one, but the picture stuck in my mind. So what we've got here is um, grown on from a seedling, smaller bulbs progressively getting larger up to here, new growth pushing out, I'm not sure if those are the new roots from that new growth, they may well be, but they're sort of okay, but going down into that moss they won't stay okay for long. And in the latest growth we do have a sheath. That does not mean it's going to bloom. This could be like a year or two off blooming size, although um, just thinking back to the actual size of the plants at Burnham's, that does look like a heading to a full size bulb. That may or may not bloom. And that is, as I said, Black Comet. Um, I think it's, uh, originally that would have been Prosthetia. I suspect Right, and now, for anybody who uh, knows their orchids, knows immediately that this is a dendrobium. 
not in bloom again. I don't. And um, buying something in bloom to me is not not a necessity. It is nice to bring a plant home with the blooms on, yes. But if they are blooms that I specifically want, and it's a plant that I specifically want, and I won't say I've been after this plant, but I've seen it in the past and thought I might like that. And one of the reasons I might like it, it's, you know, we talk about the types of dendrobiums. We've got the black hair type, we've got the phalaenopsis type, we've got the nobly types. This is a type I haven't got. So, you see what it is yet? <laughs> of course you can't, not without the blooms. You can't tell the dendrobium type normally by just looking at it. And anybody who can, from just looking at that cane with the leaves on, is pretty good stuff. Now this is in an open basket, inside a pot. Probably inside a pot to stop it falling over. It may or may not be able to remain in that um, pot basket, but I doubt it because I've got a horrible feeling. Yep, that's embedded in those lumps of um, coconut fibre. Now how easy that's going to be to repot will depend entirely on whether this is breaking down yet or not. Because as it starts to break down, it rots and, ah, and it becomes soft like that. So sometimes, and that's absolutely full of um, these. These are food pellets. Now that's all well and good, having slow-release fertiliser inside there like that. But any roots that are very close to that are possibly going to get burnt, depending on how strong that stuff is. Um, it's not the best of ideas doing that really. So this again will, will be an import. And um, that is Dendrobium tangerinum or inium. Is there a, oh gosh. These glasses were never much good when I got them. <laughs> Don't think I had a very good eye test for these glasses. Um, they're not sharp. Um, like the lenses need cleaning. Anyway, tangerinum. And what we've got here is, um, I'll, for each of these I will try and find a picture of the blooms, which in theory I should be able to steal from speciotic plants off of their uh, pictures, provided they've still got some up. But this is effectively an antelope type. Now I did have an antelope type once, but I lost it, and it never bloomed. This is unbloomed. Um, it's certainly a blooming sized plant, although it has been grown on from a seedling again. Yeah, telltale sign. Smaller canes getting bigger as they move away to the latest cane which is the largest. A little desiccated but not too bad. And um, as I said that's going to be a, a bit of a pig to repot. Um, but it will probably have to be done. Difficult to say. I could try and keep it going as it is and wait for the next new cane to come and then the associated new roots will follow. And then it's not quite so important to you know to keep the old roots. Anyway, so that's that one. New dendrobium and new dendrobium type. Well it is now because I haven't got the uh, original one. Uh, in actual fact, the original one didn't actually do very well at all. It never did. Um, it was good when I got it, and it was growing two lovely new growths that matured, and then from... Well caught, that man. <laughs> from that point on, it didn't do so good. So there we go then. New dendrobium. Thick, very thick, fleshy leaves. That's unusual for that type of cane. That's a very unusual type of leaf. Let me show you. Beyond succulent, these are thick and leathery. These are Phalaenopsis type feel to them. Very thick, leathery type leaves. So uh, quite substantial. Um, the Prostetia, um, hopefully that new growth will progress. I might try and keep it going in the moss. No, I won't. It's going to come out. Um, and then we've got our Zygopetalum Luisendorf with effectively three new growths, 
one of which is progressing quite well with its roots already. I don't see the si a sign of a spike, but uh, I'm not worried about blooming yet. Um, the chances are this one may well bloom. It's a growth coming off of a sturdy pseudo bulb and has roots. So those are the three. Um, now as far as repotting is concerned, um, from now on, and unless there are exceptional circumstances, like that one might be, um, it has actually got reasonable roots I suppose. It's got active roots here, these are good roots. Um, it's a matter of do I take the risk to keep it going and wait for another set of new roots with that new growth, which may or may not come, that's the problem. We shall see, but as far as repotting is concerned nowadays, I'm always going to give plants a chance to acclimatise to my environment so that when they're repotted, it's not quite such a shock. There's always a level of stress with a repot or taking it out of a pot, putting it on a mount, all those sorts of things give the plant stress. And under the conditions I've got in the grow room now, plants are already under a bit of stress due to the heat. Yeah? and struggling to keep those temperatures down. In addition to that, they've got our longest days at the moment. So they've not only got the heat, they've got it for a prolonged day length. Um, allegedly, we might get some thunderstorms tomorrow evening and in towards the weekend, but we shall see. I was gonna say it will clear the air because it's pretty humid out there, but it won't, it'll probably make it worse. <laughs> Anyway, um, so repotting is not an immediate thing unless it's what I call an emergency. And so far, the two that I bought back from Burnham's and these three, this one's a borderline, are not absolute emergencies. And depending what's in this pot, if this is in bark, then there is no rush to do this yet, apart from the fact I would want to get it in some cocoa rust, give it that extra moisture. But it's a full pot. If I try and lift that out to see what's going on in the pot, there's going to be a hell of a mess out here, which I'd rather not do. So uh, there we go, three new plants, three entirely different walks of life here. Um, the Prosthetia would come into the Catlia Alliance, I presume, I think. I can't remember. <laughs> uh, Dendrobium, obviously, but a new section, the antelope section. Um, and another Zygo, taking the number up to three. <laughs> one more and that's the same number as I've killed. <laughs> I will now always have my eye out for zygos um, wherever I go but at the moment we can't go anywhere, we can't go to shows or anything like that. Um, the only big show I could get to this year any sense is the Welsh, um, Welsh Orchid Study show which is beginning of September but it's, it's a three to three and a half hour drive um, it's, it's, not, it's not a pleasant journey. A lot of it is motorway, which in some cases is a bit boring. Um, Cross-country route to get to that motorway and then a lot of it and then a bit off the other end. Basically running off the end of the uh, M4 into deepest Wales. It's a hell of a long way to go. Um, so that might, I might give that a miss and then, then we'll run on into next year before we get to the big shows again. Shows like Malvern and things like that. Anyway, so there we go, an unboxing video with three new plants. Um, this one, the Prosthetia, or whatever that new name is, uh, a reclassification into a name I've never heard of. Um, I have already got at least one of those, um, those types. As I said, uh, that's an addition to the Zygos. And I've got lots of Dendrobiums, but that's the first one in that section. So. Uh, there we go then, thanks for dropping by, see you next time.